everyone talking about vetiver by commodity. The notes in this are apple, patalia, blackberry, sampaquita, jasmine, Haitian vetiver, cedar, Indonesian patchouli, and Australian sandalwood. This has a like blink and you'll miss it fruity floral opening that seemed to last about, you know, less than 30 seconds for me. But even during those, you know, very few seconds that that part happens, there's already this dense richness of like lurking vetiver, which quickly grows stronger and stronger as it dries down, along with some of the other darker notes like patchouli. But there is a long phase in the middle of this where this smells like, for lack of a better or more accurate description, pissed on cardboard. <laughs> I thought I just had to be getting something weird out of it and that it just wasn't my taste or something like that. But when I looked at others' reviews for it, that exact sentiment was described, you know, many times. And some people just said cardboard, some people said Uranus or whatever, but some people clearly, yeah, that, yeah, mm -mm, for that part. It does go away by the dry down to me, but I don't really want at any point to smell like pissed on cardboard. So that's a pass for me. Uh, not everybody gets that out of it though. It was common enough, but it wasn't like every single person did. So maybe this would be a bigger hit for you. But there's also just so many good vetiver scents out there that I, either way, I wouldn't particularly recommend going out of the way to try this. Uh, but yeah, the opening is unisex, I would say, and then it starts to lean masculine by the dry down. And I guess piss covered cardboard can be unisex. So maybe the mid is <laughs> unisex either. Uh, moderate to good longevity and projection and discontinued, but I'll link in the description where as of right recording this, Sephora still has like the sample archive set.